This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2090, Six Helpful Steps to Follow When You're Stressed Out and Frazzled by Ingrid Y. Hellander of IngridYHellanderLMFT.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your personal narrator, reading to you every day, including holidays, from the best blogs or articles I can find. And now let's get right to our next article and continue optimizing your life. Six Helpful Steps to Follow When You're Stressed Out and Frazzled by Ingrid Y. Hellander of IngridYHellanderLMFT.com. During this global pandemic, many of us, whether chronically worried or not, are feeling stressed out and frazzled. Let's face it, we become stressed out when we have to deal with scary, frustrating, uncontrollable, repetitive situations. Like the bullied child who must daily walk into the lunchroom We brace ourselves over and over trying to just keep moving forward and wishing it would stop. I love the word frazzled. To me, it perfectly depicts the stressed out sensation. Frazzled is defined as in a state of extreme physical or nervous fatigue and agitation, damaged or weakened by strain or agitation, frayed. Picture the end of a worn out rope, unraveling, weak, severed from the whole. Have your fears and frustrations led you to a frazzled, stressed out state? There is hope. Here are some normal symptoms of being completely stressed out. You feel like there are many things you could or should do, but you're frozen, numb, or confused. Self-criticism is commonplace. You compare yourself to others who you think handle things better. You have a strong sensation of impending doom and dread, but you're not really sure what you're waiting for. The old things you used to worry about still feel relevant we can hardly remember what they are. The desire to control everything around you, your food, schedule, other people, is more obvious than usual. You prefer to disappear in sleep or mindless activity. Tempers are running hot. You snap at others and feel out of control about your emotions. Body aches, including stomach ache and pain, persist. You're exhausted mentally and physically. For some people, feeling this stressed out is a new sensation. For others, is a way of life that is now heightened. If you have any of the symptoms mentioned, slow down and listen to yourself. Many schools of thought encourage you to pump yourself up and convince yourself that everything is just fine. You may feel like you are wrong, extreme, or damaged because of stressed out feelings, but this is not true. In fact, to push stressed out feelings as far away as possible and simply pretend to move forward can cause more stress and damage. Instead, Use these six steps anytime you feel stressed out. You may also make them a daily morning routine or evening practice. Soon, your body and nervous system will begin to trust you more, even in the face of uncertainty. In her book, The Polyvagal Theory and Therapy, Engaging the Rhythm of Regulation, Deb Dana explains this ability for you to tone your nervous system by sustaining and fully feeling the sensation of genuine well-being for even minutes a day, your vagus nerve will become toned and more able to connect to safety and connection. Here's how you can begin today to actually alleviate stressed out feelings and establish an internal sense of calm and confidence. Number one, breathe and pay attention to your body. Refocusing from your outside world to your body's internal sensations is the first step to calm your stress. Begin by sending your focus into your body with slow, gentle breaths to help you get familiar with what this stressed out sensation feels like inside and out. Number two, define the feeling using one or all of these techniques. A, naming the feeling. For example, stressed out is the electric but numb sensation in my brain. Or, stressed out is the sense that my heart is tied in a tight little knot. Stressed out is the racing sensation in my legs and nauseous feeling in my belly. Whatever it feels like for you is your experience and perfectly fine. B, moving and or vocalizing with the sensation. Allow your body to move as if it is the stressed out. How would the stressed out sensation in you move if it could? Imagine this or actually move and let your body show you. You can also ask, how does the stressed out sensation sound? Allow the sounds to well up from where you feel the stressed out in your body. It can really feel good to try this out in privacy. You can moan and groan, make buzzing sounds, scream and holler. Let yourself express it. You may even want to make this a family activity. 
C, drawing the stressed out part of you. If you're feeling like an artist, draw a more realistic figure or other clear representation of this emotion. Not an artist? Simply use shapes and colors to show you what your personal stressed out looks like. Number three, listen carefully to what the stressed out says. Do not fall prey to anyone who suggests you ignore or oppose the parts of you that feel stressed out. In order to make a shift, it is very important to observe and listen to any parts of you that feel frazzled. Why? Because without acknowledgement and care, stress accumulates and overwhelms you. And in order to care for anything, you need to see and witness it. Listen to your stressed out by being at least a little curious. Write down what the stressed out says is so darn stressful. Imagine loving eyes listening to this part of you and saying, that makes all the sense in the world. Of course you feel stressed out. Breathe deeply and allow this understanding, compassionate reality to support and surround your stress. Number four, allow a physical release. As soon as you feel a little calmer or sense a tiny relaxation or spaciousness inside, Hold this feeling in your body for a few breaths. Give yourself a hug or smile. Breathe in and exhale deeply, allowing your body to release as much stress as you can. Let your stressed out experience inside recognize that it is not alone. You are present to your stress, listening and understanding. Number five, check inside for a new feeling. Still breathing with ease, Look around inside you and notice that you may have other feelings besides feeling stressed out and sad. Even the tiniest sensation of calm, courage, confidence, care, curiosity, or creativity exists within you and is important. Gently notice if you can tap into that feeling too. Don't force it. Over time, it will come. Number six, take a small action based on the newly discovered, more comfortable or motivated feeling. What is one thing you could do or say now that would feel a little better than the stressed out sensation? This may be something physical like taking a walk, yoga, cleaning, or playing actively with the kids or pets. Perhaps you want to listen to or make music, take a bath, cook something, knit, draw, write, or any other creative endeavor. This may be a good time to organize using a calendar or to-do list. Practice these six steps anytime you feel a little stressed out, be open to your experience changing. You may hear a completely new message from your stressed out from one day to the next, that's fine. Stay curious and you cannot go wrong. Whether you're used to chronic stress or it is a newer phenomenon for you, it is perfectly normal to have parts of you that feel stressed out and frazzled at this time. Be with them gently. They need compassionate care. You just listened to the post titled Six Helpful Steps to Follow When You're Stressed Out and Frazzled by Ingrid Y. Hellander of IngridYHellanderLMFT.com. For me, optimal living starts with optimal daily nutrition because the healthier I am, the better my brain and body operate. That's why I recommend Memories Whole Food Powders. It is by far the easiest and most delicious way for me to fill gaps in my diet and with whole food ingredients that my brain loves and my body can actually absorb. I'm talking blueberries, leafy greens, flaxseed, turmeric, and a host of others. Best part is how easy it is to incorporate into my daily routine. I didn't have time this morning for a smoothie, so I simply added two scoops of their delicious base flavor to eight ounces of cold water and was out the door. In under two minutes, I got over a full serving of leafy greens, 10 grams of plant-based protein, and six grams of fiber to fuel my day, and without any added sugars, sweeteners, or highly processed extras. It is also a great source of antioxidants, vitamins A and K, magnesium, and plant-based omega-3s. So if you're looking for a better way to improve cognition, support your gut health, add more greens to your diet, or simply looking for a cleaner source of protein to fuel your workouts, I highly recommend you try Memory. Our listeners will receive 30% off at checkout by going to yourmemory.com slash old. That's Y-O-U-R-M-E-M-O-R-E dot com forward slash O-L-D for 30% at checkout. Thank you to Ingrid for this post. She spent nearly 20 years as a marriage and family therapist. Now, if you're looking to alleviate your stress, it can often be more stressful reading about it because you find out the ramifications of being stressed, like the health consequences and all that fun stuff. 
just thinking about it or thinking about maybe seeing a therapist or trying something new to de-stress that you've never tried before, all of this change or new things can cause you to feel even more stress. And I think it's important to recognize that because on one hand, change is necessary to get out of that stress mode. But on the other hand, we tend to not like change or more work when we're stressed. So it's a bit of a catch-22. Do you put in the work and change to de-stress? Or do you do nothing and hope the environment changes and your stress lowers? Maybe you know what you're going through right now is temporary. Or maybe the stressful situation you're in feels more permanent and like a way of life. I think all of this is important and why there's no one size fits all for pretty much anything I read to you here on this show. It's a matter of you listening to yourself and knowing yourself well enough to know what would likely help you and what likely wouldn't. And many of the things you hear will definitely help you understand yourself better if you take these different ideas in with an open mind. As a listener of this show and having made it this far into this episode, I'm sure you fall into that bucket. So with a bit of questioning, understanding, and learning on repeat, I'm sure you can make the best life for yourself possible. So keep improving. Thank you for being here and listening. Have a great rest of your day. and I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.